Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a uh, Wilcoxon pairwise post hoc analysis uh, for a Friedman test using R, uh, specifically RStudio. Uh, I actually have only the default packages loaded. I'll hit Ctrl Enter to actually show that. So it's stats, graphics, uh, graphic devices, utilities, datasets, methods and base. Um, the stats uh, package is actually the more important one here. And I'll be using an example data file and I'll store that under my data. I'll actually show you what that looks like. It contains uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions people, students were actually asked uh, about the teacher and they could uh, answer on a rating scale of one till five, uh, one being the lowest, five being the highest. Uh, in this case there are no missing values and note that my entire data file therefore only consists out of the variables that I actually want to compare. So uh, if you have a larger data file you might want to subset it uh, to a new data uh, that only contains the ones that you're doing and remove any um, cases where there are actually uh, blanks. Now once that's loaded uh, I need to uh, add an ID variable, so I'll add that as ID, and that's simply going to be a number, and I'll hit Ctrl Enter, and now if I go to my data, you will see that actually an ID variable has been added at the end, going from 1 till uh, the last one, which in this case is 52. Then we do need to reshape this into a so-called long format, which requires the reshape to package. Uh, there are a few other ways of actually reshaping data, but um, I like the one in reshape to. I already installed the package. If you haven't done so, then um, execute this line. Uh, if you have already installed it, then make sure you load it by using this line. So Control Enter, and now I've actually loaded the reshape to package. Then I can actually convert the data table into a long version using the melt option. All of my data and the ID column is of course the ID variable. Ctrl Enter and now my data long. I'll actually show you what that then looks like. Uh, for each ID, which will actually occur a few times now, for each variable that there was there and then a column with the score in there. Then. Uh, we need the stats package. Uh, as you could have seen, for me it was already actually installed, but just in case, uh, if you don't have it somehow, then uh, use this line. And then make sure you load it in the library. So Ctrl Enter, and now I'm sure it's loaded. And then finally we can actually perform the test. Pairwise.wilcox.test, um, all in small caps. Then my data long, then the value, uh, those were the scores. Then from that same data set, uh, the uh, column that contains the ver different variables, set pair to true, exact to false in my case, adjustment none, and I'm not using any continuity corrections. If you like, you can change this uh, to true. Um, and also if you want to do apply a pair uh, family-wise rate uh, correction, then you can use, for example, Bonferroni here, or a few other ones. Uh, I'll just show you the results of if there's no family-wise uh, correction rate. And then in the output, you see that it actually creates a nice little cross table showing you um, the from each variable and how that actually links with the other one. So for example, this one is the difference between teacher availability and teacher participation was uh, significantly different from each other at 0.0015. Now, if you do add a correction, so let me change this none to, for example, Bonferroni, and then hit enter. Oops, uh, misspelled Bonferroni. Luckily, it actually shows you all the different options here. So, put that in, control enter, and uh, the one I was looking at is actually still significantly different from each other. Um, now this video is mainly about how to actually uh, uh, get these results, not so much on how to interpret them. Uh, there are other videos about that. If you really want to use base only uh, and not the stats package, you could actually program it a bit yourself. I've done so here. I reload my data. I need then the dimensions of the data. Uh, I need That's actually the number of variables. I need then uh, how many cases I have. 
uh, I'll define a few variables that I'm going to be using later and then here what it actually does is uh, it creates uh, a pair column which actually shows which two you're actually comparing so it just takes the column names uh, of uh, i and j and then the test value which is done by using the Wilcoxon test uh, and then actually uh, the statistic it also shows the significance and then the Bonferroni method uh, is actually being used here and that should give the same output um, of course you can adjust this code a little bit to your liking by uh, changing here this one this bit up here to uh, something similar as uh, copy paste this one and then simply actually add uh, in here the method of correction that you want to use for family wise corrections uh, I'll load this all in and then the result uh, should be a data frame and then showing the result and here actually it shows it uh, in tabular form uh, so motivation against uh, link theory uh, test statistic and then the significance the unadjusted one followed by the adjusted one okay um, hope you enjoyed this video uh, it was a little bit longer than I wanted to but that's because I showed both methods in this case uh, most likely with the stats package you should be fine